What are you looking at? What's with the attitude? Screw you. Attitude is what makes me. That and my brutality in the ring. Hmm. Brutality. Did I stutter? Can you show me how to harness brutality in the ring? You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, maybe that's true. Explain it to me then. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. That. I want to do that. I want you to show me how to harness brutality. What, do I have a sign that says free lessons or something? I can't help you. You can help yourself though, provided you're not too weak. I'm certainly not too weak. Then cause some chaos and do it somewhere unexpected. Hmm, maybe a different brand then. Sure, show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card, but I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Feeling like Zaya Lee and Indy Hartwell could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. We still don't know why the captain decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the cap. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Ducking out of trouble. Oh, man. Did you hear the snap of the kendo stick? One wicked attack after another. Oh, man. Kick to the face. Can she do it here? Gets the shoulder up, wow. What's it going to take? Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. And she had Zion's number there. And that definitely made solid impact. Taking this outside. This could be good. Oh! Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. I have a feeling she has bad intentions for that chair. On a flying forearm smash. Oh, and a forearm. An elbow will break that up. Oh, saw it coming. Throws her back in from ringside. Hooked up. DDT. Forearm smash. Oh my God. DDT. Oh, that backfired on her. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. This could do it! And a kick out before even one there. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Kick to the gut creates separation. Snapmare could set something else up. Bionic elbow driven down. Lee may be realizing that her competition won't be one to back down either. Threat. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Impressively withstanding the onslaught of the two other superstars to stand tall and have their arm raised here and now. Okay, so you can at least pretend to have what it takes. 
Although maybe it was a one-off. It wasn't a one-off. I'm not pretending. Why are you here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And I'm not convinced. Who hurt you anyway? What? No, seriously. Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. So next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance, do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough or pick someone who may be very talented but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're gonna be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So, we're associated now? Shut up. The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring with one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. She's got an answer for that. out of the ring but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here boom oh. forearm smash into the barricade she's pumping herself up reaching out for that burst of energy into the ring now She's staying elusive. Boom! A forearm smack. Knees meet face. Placed in the corner. Drop kick. Great athleticism. And Shayna experiencing a bit more fight there than she may have expected coming into this match. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Stops base training back in fourth blows now. Oh. And half my god on four! That's a jaw. Look out! Oh, dropping down all their weight. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Oh man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you on the outside! What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. Selena Del Sol. She's got her where she wants her. Boom, head kick. Vulnerable spot for Beza. Ooh, great agility on display. Lights out for Baszler. She's done. She throws her back in. Up to the top rope now. From the heavens. Oh, she misses the mark. A nice shot by Shayna Baszler. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Hardball. And the ropes will break this one up. But it looks like she got a new lease on life here, Michael. But can she capitalize? He 
able to get the advantage here. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Bulldog brings them down. She's trying to fight back, but it doesn't look good. Yeah, this is not good. Going for the pin on Shano. Wait, what's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair. What's gotten into her? Hey, look out. A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room, and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, when I heard the sound her body made when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. To a board guided by profit and not people who ask everything of us and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking. And I'm not only done following blindly, I'm going to do everything in my power to tear apart the system by destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way. <laughs> 